You would think that having lived with this disability for my entire life, I would know a little bit more about it, or at least know how to accurately describe it. Apparently not. So that's why this video exists. I wanted to make this video because over a year ago now, I made a video called why I'm so short in parentheses scoliosis Q&A. And I really wish I would have done a lot more thinking and preparation for that video because after my dad watched that video and pretty much everyone in my family watched that video, they told me like, hey, great that you're trying to educate people, but most of what you said was not accurate. And I feel like if I have this platform and I have the opportunity to educate people on things like this, I should at least do it correctly wouldn't you say? The main thing that I said in that video that was inaccurate was that scoliosis is what caused my short stature. That's not correct. Um, <laughs> scoliosis did not cause me to be four feet tall. That's not what scoliosis does. But I guess growing up, like, even though I was, it was talked about a lot around me, I never really took the time to pay attention to what I actually have, which is kind of ridiculous, but I guess kind of makes sense because like I just was, I, it was my life. So I was just like, uh, uh, I'm living it. What else do I need to do? You know, I didn't really feel the need to research it when I was living it. So in this video, I wanted to more accurately, maybe not as, you know, it is really hard because what I have is so, so rare and my particular case is pretty much the only one in existence. So there isn't a lot of information already that I can give you, but I'm gonna try my best to describe it in a way that most people can understand. I have a feeling that a decent amount of pe people that might click on this video might not know who I am already and might not have already watched my video. So I'm just gonna answer the first two questions that I get all the time, but I feel like I would get them even more on this video, so I'm gonna state them now. I am 20 years old, and I am four foot tall. So what I have is a condition called chondrodysplasia punctata. Hi, I'm editing this and I just realized something kind of funny that I wanted to throw in here. When I was little, chondrodysplasia punctata always made me think of Hakuna Matata from The Lion King, but more specifically than that, it reminded me of Pumbaa because of the P. <laughs> so whenever I would hear chondrodysplasia punctata, I would think of Pumba from the Lion King. So now every time throughout this video I say Conjurer's Wager Punctata, I'm gonna put a picture of Pumba from the Lion King. Listen, I'm just trying to make this video as entertaining as I can. <laughs> Conjure dysplasia punctata is basically what caused everything else that I have. That caused my scoliosis, that caused my breathing issues. I'm deaf in my left ear. That probably caused that too. It's when cartilage cells are not able to come together like normal. That cartilage eventually turns into bone. And if you don't have enough cartilage to form a specific part, that's gonna cause deformities and all that kind of stuff. Hence the scoliosis. So a lot of parts of my cartilage in my spine and vertebrae didn't form properly. So that's why I have the scoliosis. It also affected my rib cage. My rib cage is abnormally small and that causes my lungs to not be able to expand properly. When my mom was pregnant with me, I never was ready to come out because a baby is ready to be born when its lungs are fully developed and it can breathe on its own. When the baby is able to use its lungs on its own, the hormones trigger the mother to go into labor and give birth. Because my lungs never developed all the way, that signal was never sent to my mom and that's why I was I think like two or three weeks late and I had to be delivered by C-section. Chondrodysplasia punctata is already very rare, but there are no other documented cases of it manifesting in the way that it did for me. So as I was growing up and going to the doctor and all that stuff, all the doctors were pretty much just figuring things out as they went along because they'd never seen any of this stuff before. And apparently they were 
considering naming the condition after me. I don't know what happened to that idea. I'm still for it if they want to do it. Like, I can give you my business email. We can talk. So, because it affected my skeleton and my bones and all that stuff, it must have just also maybe stunted my growth or just not. Maybe my bones didn't have enough cartilage to be big enough. I literally, I'm still, my dad couldn't even really give me a solid answer either. It's all just meh. But basically the message that I wanted to get across here is scoliosis and dwarfism are not the same thing. My chondrodysplasia punctata caused the scoliosis. They're very separate. Chondrodysplasia punctata is a skeletal dysplasia, aka a form of dwarfism. In some cases, maybe not everyone that has chondrodysplasia punctata, but I guess it can cause it. Now, something that might shock most of you, or maybe not, I don't know, but probably, there are over 200 types of dwarfism. Just because someone doesn't look like the people on Little People Big World, which is a chondroplasia, except for the husband, I'm pretty sure he has something different. Achondro, achondroplasia is the most common form of dwarfism and it's the most easily identifiable one. Achondro, just, achondroplasia, Christ, is, is what the average person thinks of when they hear the word dwarf or little person. When you hear the word dwarf or little person, you usually wouldn't think of someone like me. Usually when people see me in real life or even online, they think I'm like 10 or 11 or 12 or eight or nine or something. I know it's a meme at this point on my channel. Like I joke about it all the time about looking young and being short where yes, I do have fun with it and I laugh about it and joke about it. It also kind of sucks. Um, most of the time, honestly, but it's how I was born. It's how I am. So I just try to work with what I got. How inspirational. Also, the actual loose technical definition of dwarfism is anyone that's under four foot ten inches. Not a child, a full adult that is under the height of 4'10". My mom is 4'11". She doesn't have any conditions or disabilities or disorders like I do. She's just a short person, but she's one inch away from legally being a little person. Now, if you Google chondrodysplasia punctata, it can show you some very scary pictures and cases and stuff like that. The thing about CP, because I don't feel like saying all of that <laughs> over and over again, is that it can come in many different forms. You know, like other people that have CP might have issues with their ears, which I mean, I also have that. I'm deaf in my left ear. They may have problems with their nose or other bones, just anything really with cartilage. But really the only reason they they diagnosed me with CP was because it was the only existing condition that was closest enough to describe my condition, my disorder, my disability. I never know what word to use. So, in truth, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm like reading off of what my dad wrote and he said, in truth. So, I don't know, saying that <laughs> felt very unnatural to me and that's why I laughed. But, in truth, my case is very much its own diagnosis. Kids, look at me. If you subscribe to my channel, you're subscribing to truly one in a million. That's my f***ing tagline. Oh my god, ew! No, it's not, but oh my god. <laughs> Then my dad also wrote, there's a researcher slash doctor who we believe has identified the genetic makeup make marker for CP, but we don't know any of the details, so. That's interesting. For my whole life, they didn't know what caused it or the gene that causes it. Cause it's not, I should have said this in like the beginning. No one else in my family has dwarfism or anything close to it. So, and then the last thing my dad wrote was, it's just one of those things that happens sometimes. <laughs> That's it. It's just one of those things that happens. That's what I'm gonna say now. <laughs> Just, so why are you the size of a child? It's just one of those things that happens sometimes. That's it. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's everything, I hope. If you guys have any more questions that I didn't address in this video, leave them in the comments and I will either reply to your comment or I'll make a follow-up video to this with my dad, maybe. 
and we can both answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was a pretty important one to me. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always on those. Click the circle with my face in it at the end of the video to subscribe, and then click the little box where it says watch more to watch more videos. I love you all so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye!